Jordan. Is that Phil Gillis. Phil Gillis. Is this kick off? Come here, Phil. Yeah. Come here, old boy. You scared? Look at him. He's nervous. <laughs> Damn, Phil dude. Gillis is scared of the, the cast. Is hot. Scared of the mic. Come yeah. here, boy. <laughs> Come here, boy. What time is kickoff? Is it kickoff right now? About eight ten, I think. Okay, so we got. Hello, masses. <laughs> How we doing? It's game time. What do you think's gonna happen? I think the Irish win uh, 42-16. Oh, nice. All right. you, yeah, that, you got a joke you want to tell? You got any jokes lined up? You should tell the slap. Think of a joke. Tell think, the slap it, Pappy story. Well, yeah, you just sit around and look at each other with these things in your hand. I mean, it's. It's sort of weird. <laughs> call it gay. My dad's gonna come down. <laughs> call it gay. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's my dad strange. came down in a Notre Dame shirt. And said it's kickoff time. He's like, you guys sit around. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like a poker game with no chips on the table. It makes me uh, wonder a little bit. If you were down here playing fucking friendly foot, did you, did you see, <laughs> see what your wife did to the ceiling? Oh, I did see. I was sitting at the desk and I looked over and everything was laying on the floor. The whole ceiling collapsed. <laughs> From what? I'm not so sure. <laughs> no, no, no. We already exposed what it was. No, she blamed it on the washer, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I thought she, I thought you told me she dumped and it I cleared out. said that. Never will. <laughs> we, <laughs> Phil, will you honestly pause the game, please? No. I'll be up in, I'll be up in 10 minutes, please. No. <laughs> please, no. dude. God damn it. <laughs> What a fucking dickhead! <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, I told uh, you we got eight ten kickoff. We got time. So my s- uh, I had some foster kids. Sure, <laughs> you know, I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. Anyway, kids are back. Kids are back. Things are yeah. great. But uh, she took my sister at, had their kid down at the park, or mm-hmm. my dad had her his granddaughter at the park. Yeah. And she is not white. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just down at the park with this young black kid and uh there's like parents coming from like yeah it's little like league. little league baseball parents bringing their kids to practice she and they got like there. younger no, no, siblings it's just and stuff my dad and her <laughs> yeah. really yeah and she's in a purple like ballerina costume yeah. like nunu or what is it tutu uh, tutu yeah and uh and he's pushing her on the swing and i guess she they were on like that just like the regular swing which is just that like piece of rubber yeah and then she wanted to go in the other swing that had like the the footholes you know and it's like a seat and she uh and he starts pushing her <laughs> and then i guess he said it was like making noise like anytime he would like touch it it would yeah. like make he like a slap the fucking, <laughs> when he was slapping it, he was pushing it yeah 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 and then and then she just starts going yeah slap it pappy <laughs> slap it <laughs> Yeah, Pappy, slap it harder, Pappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like screaming it while he's smacking her ass. <laughs> yeah, Pappy. There's an old guy and a little black girl at the park. Oh, my God. <laughs> how was it, how was it passers was, by? What's that? How was I don't know. I wasn't there. They I would were, assume it, they were very, they were taken aback. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, t- I was down south. We're back. All right, we're back. The only way we could uh, pause the game is if we brought Phil Gillis down here for an interview right now. This is the three-on-one exclusive. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Let's go. Give me the interview. All right, ask Matt. Start. Yeah, start it off. <laughs> you gotta ask him questions. I, I can't. I'm. Can't. You fired off. It's your dad. Fire it off. You ask him. Yeah. The mic. I, I, what, are you I drink, what are you drinking right there? This is a Bloody Mary. No, oh, nice. Yeah, tailgate ran a little late. <laughs> Kickoff started. I didn't get it quite finished. Ah. But the just, Irish are looking good so far, though. So far, yeah, they got yeah. down to about the eight yard line when I was forced to <laughs> pause the video. So here I am. We're going to wrap this up real soon. Get back up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a good question. How do you think your your president is doing? What type of job do you think the president of the United States is doing right now? I think he's doing an excellent job. <laughs> and I would be surprised if anyone differed with that viewpoint. He is doing things that other presidents that didn't have the nuts to do, he is doing. <laughs> okay? It's not always popular with... Most of the people in the United States. But he, hey, why do you talk like him? Why do you talk exactly like him? <laughs> it's not a, he is doing it. Have, have you ever caught Shane, like, humping his pillows or anything like that? <laughs> what? Hey, Matt. What? We said none of that stuff. <laughs> none of that stuff, you Matt. Cuss? You fucking... Yeah, Matt's that's off gay. limits. That's, <laughs> that's off limits. That's gay talk. I was specifically told those questions were not going to be asked. That's right. 
So I'm a member of the press, dude. I, I, there's no <laughs> yeah, all yeah, ways yeah. for me. Although there was, there yeah. was one time when uh, I came down rude, here and I picked rude. something up outside the bed. And uh, <laughs> it was a little heavy <laughs> tissue action, and Shane didn't have the sniffles. So, <laughs> You're dropping big loads and tissues. Ew. It was heavy. <laughs> it was heavy. Give me this. Guy. <laughs> <It was> heavy. <laughs> what are you saying there, Phil? Well, I'm not quite certain. All right, you want to talk about your fucking here? Hold into the mic. You picked up some. You want to talk, talk about your cum jeans at the laser tag? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. You don't know what that means? You remember that? No, I don't. When we took the kids to play laser oh. tag. <laughs> no, that wasn't. I have to explain. I had uh, prostate surgery, and uh, so part, what's part what's of in that the prostate? Is called incontinence. All right, so, so there is there come is all willy nilly. No, you know there is none of, none of that stuff. <laughs> just once in a while, you can't control you know when the starting and the stopping when you have to urinate. That's all. So all right, back to back to President Trump. It just happened to be a very sensitive strobe or whatever it Blue, is. Black light. Black light. <laughs> Picked up peace. Believe days. me. <laughs> all right. Black lights and turned up way too high. They yeah. are too high, and they picked up. Phil's. Picked up pee stains. I, they were. Yeah. They were. True no problem. They were. I don't I, I'd, I'd be. I'd be more of a dotted. They would get me in a lot of dotted pee stains. Yeah. You not try not to shaking. breathe so heavy into the mic. Continue. Let's go. <laughs> Phil, I think you all should get a rebate for this podcast. A rebate? This, yeah, rebate. Oh, the customer. The customers. They're, this yeah. is free. It is free. Good. This is free. <laughs> Good. All right. Let's send it to China. <laughs> All right. How much do you love Trump right now? Uh, he's he's good. I just don't like the way he acts on uh, social media and his texting and whatever else he does. What about before he became president? Wouldn't you have called him a fight? Like, he was like a punk douche. Yes, he was. And now what? I didn't care about him then. I care now about you him care now. About, now you care about him. Yeah. Would you lay your life down for Trump? If there was a shooter between you and Trump, would you jump in front of the bullet for the president? Yes, I would. You would die for President Trump. I would. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I'd die for any president, even Obama. Even Obama. What is that? Even Carter. Mean? Even Clinton. You would die for And him. I didn't like those guys, but I would do it for the country. Even Clinton after what he's done to those kids at Epstein Island? I don't know exactly what was uh, revealed there. Okay. He was there people. 37 times, I think. 37? Yeah. Okay. Why did it take him that many times? Because it huh? was awesome. <laughs> it was the best island ever? I don't know. Probably because it was like you at laser tag. <laughs> it's Disney World for the it's elites. Of, yeah, it's Disney World, dude. Really? <laughs> Keep going. You're doing great, man. No, I know I'm This doing is your great. broadcasting debut, isn't it? Sure. How old are you? 63. 63. You're Damn. making your debut on the mic. That's it. You always wanted to do this, didn't you? I did. Wow. I should have been a stand-up comedian, but... Uh, I had a family at a young age, and uh, I couldn't, like, screw around and just <laughs> waste people's time <laughs> living in a hallway in New York City <laughs> with cats and rats. Okay. And Your wife just <laughs> dumped open a ceiling. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> this interview's going to be done. No, no. Walk we're not off. Done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> You're ugly? I'm ugly? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Trump would say. Trump would have called me ugly. Yes. You're going to break that fucking chair. No, I'm not. Oh, man. Go ahead. Uh, nothing. I'm just happy. So you don't like President Barack Obama? I never have. And you but do I like But I still Donald rooted Trump. for him. I wanted him to be a very good president, of which he I thought he down. did all right. I thought he did okay. He didn't do anything. He lowered his handicap in golf. He vacationed all the time. All right, so you're going to use that argument? Isn't that what Trump? Trump golfs all the fucking time. Yeah, but guess what? He owns a golf course, all right? <laughs> That's a good argument. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the hell? He should ski if he owns a ski mountain. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Trump works harder than any president we've had <laughs> as far as I can ever been around. He constantly works. You look at him on Sundays. He's in a suit coming off a plane. He's working. Constantly he's working. He works hard. He doesn't drink. He doesn't uh, smoke. He Do doesn't you drink? Swear. Once in a while. <laughs> I'm not president. He doesn't swear? I don't believe he does. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't want you to have a heart attack, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Just keep it easy. It's easy. It's nice and calm. It is. I love that you die for the presidents. That's awesome. I was just saying how we need we we don't have any civic mind we don't have any civic mindedness anymore. Yeah, we've lost that. The younger generation. You you didn't do shit. What did you do? What do you mean? What you did weren't I in do? the you were a draft dodger. 
What dodging? You went to Canada. <laughs> you went to Canada during Vietnam. Yeah, I went to Clarion. I didn't go to Canada. <laughs> I thought I was in Canada when I got there. Why? Because it was four hours away, and it was not far from Lake Erie. I didn't know it was that close. It snowed constantly. It was freezing. It was terrible. True that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame, though. We've lost a civic mind. Yeah, not a lot of tough guys anymore. I know. we got to get it back. I'm trying you to do. bring it back single-handedly. Matt's pretty tough. He's tough as nails. Well, it looks a, like it. Trying to take a bullet. You like him. I do. You like him a Cusker? Yeah. Chris asked, what type of Civil War soldier do you think he'd be? I think I would be like a uh, sharpshooter. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get the green jacket up there. You think you'd be a sharpshooter? Yeah. The Have you ever fired a gun up. once? <laughs> yes. I shot 13 deer. Damn. That's not true. Buck. Buck. <laughs> that's not true. Have you, no, shot, have you shot a gun? Yeah. Hell yeah. You, you never would, shot a... F- they would run at me with self-defense twice. <laughs> I put my hands up, threw the rifle down, they still came. No, I did. I shot, I shot 13. I used to go deer hunting. Nice. Yep. Got some five-pointers? Well, I don't know where the racks are. I think Joan has them hidden No, I, the racks are gone. It's just high school girls basketball racks. <laughs> oh, my God. That was after. He killed did, a deer. Did we talk about that? All these state championships? Yeah. Let's not. How many state okay. championships you got? Four. We shouldn't bring him up. We shouldn't bring up the state championships. Why? Just because yeah, he'll get fired for being on this podcast. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it like, was yeah, in Rhode not? Island. Yeah, this is live from Rhode Island. All right. I got to run. Don't unpause that game. Well, I have to. No, you got to wait five more. We got to give the people a little. Where are we at time-wise? 59 minutes. All right. Give us two more minutes, Phil. It's free for crying out loud. No one's exactly. listening anyhow. No, a lot of people are, out. and they all fucking complain. <laughs> Phil, do you have any words for the haters out there? They're saying mean yeah, things about What would about you say me. to someone saying something mean to a free Some guy called Chris online. a dwarf today. Really? Yeah, he DM'd me and called Chris a dwarf. A dwarf. A dwarf. Where? When you were at Gettysburg? Yeah, I took a picture of him at Gettysburg, and somebody just commented on it. You would have been one of the taller soldiers at Gettysburg. You would have been a tall soldier at Gettysburg. Well, Phil, you would have been a fucking giant. You would have got I shot know, right I away. I would have got shot. <laughs> I would have had that red cross on, going out and just... You would have been helping people. Medic! That's what I would have done. Uh, so, no, I said, would you please uh, address our our haters? Well, I don't know who's hating, but I can certainly understand it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> there are some areas of this podcast that I don't like. like I'm trying to give it a little jolt because it's the, 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 uh, the, the listening ship has been lacking considerably. If it's not for some of the people that... Shane knows. Uh, I don't want to name names because I don't want to embarrass you. Um, anyhow, we need to step it up. The podcast needs the, to do better. Yeah, it does. It needs. To be I asked you to address the haters. Show. All you did was talk shit on us. No, I can understand the haters. <laughs> I'm sort of one of them. <laughs> well, Phil, I'll tell you what, man. It's been a real honor having you on here. You okay. were on our first episode. I know. You were the very first what person. I mean, I was on the first episode. You I called know. in and gave us a good racist Trump joke. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You said, uh, and we bleeped it out because we th- we didn't want to get you in trouble, but you're here now, so who gives a fuck? Okay. Uh, you said, remember that joke you had about Trump and uh, Obama? I you came up with this, and it was bad. Don't recall. I think it was good. No, but- it was, oh, because Trump hadn't even been, he hadn't won the right. election. He won the election. He hadn't taken, so Obama's in the office playing golf. He's putting on the carpet. Trump comes in, and he's, you know, the small talk. And uh, Obama's like, yeah, I like golf. And Trump's like, oh, man, I, I own a couple courses. He's like, I understand that. Do you mind if I play on some of those? And Trump looks at him and says, I mean, you can play the front nine, but you got to caddy the back half. Oh, my God. That was your joke. <laughs> that was my joke? Yeah, what? it was a joke about him being uh, half I, black. I, I understand. <laughs> it was a Believe bad me, joke. If I made the joke up, I understand. It was a bad joke. Yeah, it was well, so bad we bleeped it out the first time. Well, guess what? Now that you've... Reacquainted me with that joke. I'm going to tell it again. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I don't like it. No, no, no. Don't tell it again. No, no, no. It's a good joke. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can feel that, right? You can feel when it sucks, and it's it there's nothing. It's when it's dead. All okay. right. Why don't you head upstairs? We're going to rewind it to the kickoff. I'm going to watch that opening drive again. Come on, man. All right, let's go. Please wrap this up. We're going to. All right, we'll end it here. Thanks for coming down, Phil. I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Well,